Thing to families here in New Jersey. So without further ado, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce you Senator Frank Lautenberg. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the defenders of decency and respect here, we want you to sound your voices loud because they want to drown you out. <laughs> not, courteous, not courteous enough to permit other Stop people to have a decision of their own. And we don't, we don't let them bother us. <laughs> Thank you, Valerie Huddle and uh, Assemblyman Linda Stenner for your leadership in Trenton. Uh, Michelle Jaker for your strong Leadership of Planned Parenthood. Oh. Shame on uh, There is a group babies. of Tea Party Don't Republicans, and they've declared war on women, and we're not going to stand for it. New Jersey is a battleground. And those who don't respect the rights of women don't uh, don't earn the freedom that are guaranteed in the Constitution. So. Just look at uh, Planned Parenthood, at the babies. office behind us. It's closed, as you heard from Valerie, not because of this rally, but because funding cuts have been have forced the office to reduce its operating hours. But we're not going to take this action lying down. Not at all. Uh, their assault on the on our programs will not be tolerated. Tea Party Republicans in Washington claim they're concerned about the budget balance. But it's a disguise. It's not true. It's a lie. That's not what they want. They want, to, they want other people not to be able to have their own opinions. They don't deserve the freedoms that are in the Constitution. But we'll give them to them anyway. The, uh, Republics, the Republicans aren't satisfied uh, to uh, uh, dry up the funding, uh, but what they want to do is they want to cut the programs, and we're not going to let them do it. They call their party the Tea Party, but they're fighting in opposition to the original Tea Party that took place to fight for freedoms. That's what it's about. That's what and that's what we're fighting with these guys about. We want the freedom to make our choices. We want the freedom to speak out. And we, do, we don't care about their rowdy. They can keep on just talking. Talk, talk, talk. Planned Parenthood delivers a range of health services for women, uh, and that includes things like cancer screening. Let's hear your let's hear your booze against cancer screening. Hey, where are they so quiet? Okay, at least they're for one thing that makes sense. We know that now. Uh, but down in Washington. The toxic tea Republicans don't care, care about Planned Parenthood's important services, their value to our women. Uh, they'd like to remove the safety net, and once again, we're not going to stand for it. In our New Jersey, Planned Parenthood serves 90,000 patients a year. It's fantastic. Providing almost 50,000 breast cancer exams, even though they're against uh, breast cancer exams. You hear that? Let's hear it from you guys. You're, are you against breast cancer exams? How many babies do you Oh, yeah. I'm not so noisy about that. Okay. There's also 50,000, uh, more than 40,000 cervical cancer screenings. Are you against cervical cancer screenings? No. Okay, we're about twice. We're doing pretty good. We may get a, we may get a 10 strike here before we're finished. The Tea Party Republicans are putting extremist ideologies above women's health. 
and in Washington and Trenton. The fact Republicans want to turn back the clock on women's rights, but we say something that was captured in a prominent film some years ago. We're watching you. Remember the show? Uh, we can't forget that show. Uh, and uh, other than the fact of the we're turning our page a little slowly here. <clears throat> Last week, I asked Vice President Biden to help us. And now they're supporting our baby killing. Uh, I'll tell you, what are you against now? Are you against Head Start for Children? How about that? You want to stop kids from getting lessons? No, no, no. You just want to restrict the rights. Nah, keep on going. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> So last week I spoke to President Biden to protect Planned Parenthood during his budget negotiation with the Republicans. And earlier this month, I joined five of my female colleagues in the Senate floor and talked about the need to protect women, children, and the poor from toxic Republican budgets. I was pleased to be the only male senator who was part of that group, but I was not alone. Our soulmates and the male population are standing just as strong as the women are, and they're concerned. And if you're a parent or a grandparent, how can you say no to what taking care of their mothers and making sure that? I was in good company that afternoon. And I'm still in good company up to, the, up, to the, up to the line there, you know. Yeah, well, I'm counting on your support as we work together. And even, I'll tell you what, take an aspirin, think about this, and maybe you'll feel better in the morning. I'm counting on your support for us to work together, to fight the toxic tea Republicans, and to beat them in this war on women. Yeah. Thank you all.